if they makes five years in law enforcement and I just kind of wanted to do something different for that. Um, I've been in Brentwood five years and let me just tell you, I blinked and here I am. Time goes by fast. Life flies by. So take every moment and soak every moment in. Um, I mean, when I started this job, I didn't even, I wasn't even dating my wife. That's just, and here we are, married for two and a half years. So here's some just neat tidbits about me, I guess, and why I do this. So um, got on law enforcement because of my grandfather, he was a sheriff in Alabama. And uh, a lot of people would come up to him and say hi to him when we were at restaurants and thank him for his service, whatever. It's pretty cool, it's inspiring. And uh, a lot of people appreciate what he did. He has some cool stories that he told me that just fascinated me. So that on top of being, being servant-hearted, uh, it's more than just a cliche. I want to help others thing that cops say when they get interviewed or whatever, but it, it goes further than that for me. Um, I want to be the hands and feet of Jesus, and serving is how I do that. Um, and so I've based my life around that in this profession, and quite the profession to be in. I mean, the last five years have been very difficult to say the least with the political tensions. I'm not really gonna get into that. Yeah, I've got a bunch of funny stories. Honey mustard DUI, cocaine fuel car chase that I had. I mean, all this stuff, like catching armed robbers. It's a, it's a front row seat to the the best show on earth, I guess, is what somebody said. It's kind of, you see a lot of things that you wouldn't see in, in typically.